Black Dynamite stars Michael Jai White, Tommy Davidson, and Sally Richardson. It was released on Blu-ray February 16th, 2010, and runs 84 minutes. This movie is a parody of 70s black exploitation films and offers up some great comedy along with a genuine 70s feel. From the music, the decor, the wardrobe, the film look, stock footage, bad green screen, and some sick 70s lingo in the dialogue. Bad camera work like fast swivels, fast zooms, out of focus shots, and boom mics in the shot are all present as well. I love the characters' nicknames as well. Black Dynamite, although the movie would suggest that's his real name. We also have Cream Corn, Bullhorn, Arsenio Hall playing Tasty Freeze, and Kim Whitley as Honeybee. The film begins with Black Dynamite's brother being murdered by a big-time drug dealer. Being former CIA, Dynamite's former partner wants his help to stop the drug dealers and to keep Dynamite from going vigilante and running the streets red with whoever killed his brother, who he unfortunately thinks was a drug dealer, but he still wants to go solo. Black Dynamite is like the unstoppable one-man army action star. After we learn about this new drug hitting the streets, Dynamite wages war on anyone who sells drugs in the community. Parts of this movie reminds me of a 70s detective show as he goes around town asking questions to find his brother's killer. He eventually rejoins the CIA when he finds out his brother was actually working undercover. As the smack problem gets worse, he meets a militia member trying to speak out against the politicians allowing the drugs and shutting down programs designed to help people. After Dynamite and crew clean up the streets and get rid of the drugs, they find out it was just a diversion from an even bigger plot against the black community that takes them all the way to the, if you'll pardon the expression, honky house. As for the comedy, it's all over the place here. It could range from something not so noticeable, like Black Dynamite shooting 15 shots out of a six-shooter during a gunfight, to something ridiculous, like a chick taking a drag of a cigarette that's not even lit. Sometimes the comedy is physical, sometimes dialogue, sometimes intentionally bad acting, sometimes clever, sometimes just downright silly. Being all over the place like this isn't a bad thing as long as it's funny, and this movie delivers the funny. During a quiet moment in the final showdown, one of the revolutionaries is talking to Black Dynamite, telling him how after the fight he's going to get married to his girl, shows him a picture, buy a house in the country, grow their own fruits and vegetables, very touching, when suddenly he's impaled by a spear, and Black Dynamite quips, who saw that coming? As in, predictable. Then he corrects himself. I mean, who saw where that came from? A couple of the original soul tracks playing in the background have lyrics describing the scene or the situation. I haven't seen this done before. When you ignore the dialogue and listen to the music lyrics, it's pretty damn funny. Overall, this is a really cool, funny, well-made movie. I don't know much about comedy or watch them very often, but I know this made me laugh. I would recommend this to anyone who loves silly comedies with the randomness of films like Airplane or The Naked Gun. 9 out of 10. Meet Black Dynamite, Michael Jai White, the smoothest, baddest cat on the street. He's a ladies' man and a man with a plan. He's also a former CIA agent out to avenge his brother's death. Whether he's taking down drug dealers or sweet-talking foxy mamas, he's the man out to stop the man. Take a wild ride from the mean streets of the ghetto to some funky clubs downtown, all the way to the honky house with this badass, tough-as-nails action hero. Black Dynamite is a kung fu fighting, pimp slapping, gun blasting, outrageously over-the-top parody of 70s-era exploitation films that delivers big action and even bigger laughs like nobody's business. Look out for this film. It's hilarious, says Spike Lee. Special Features Making of Featurette Getting the idea for the film Writing the script Inspiration for the characters Costume designs, production design, using old film stock, editing, 
satire versus spoofing 70s films, music, working with the director Scott Sanders, discussing the 70s black exploitation stars and movies. The Comic Con experience, the San Diego Comic Con panel, deleted and alternate scenes. There's 17 different deleted and alternate scenes. Peter Martin of Esquire magazine says the best piece of cinematic satire since The Naked Gun. And Craig Barboza of USA Weekly magazine says a blast, one of the best comedies of the year. He's super bad, he's out of sight, he's black dynamite. I just got one thing to lay on you cats and then I'll split. That I am declaring war on anybody who sells drugs in our community. But Black Dynamite, I sell drugs to the community. 